Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're looking at here is Plex and you'll notice something if you got a good eagle eye up in the corner here, top movies on Crackle. Now why does it say that? We're in Plex, not Crackle, right? Well, what it is is that Plex has been working with other video partners in order to expand on what they are doing with their free ad-supported content. And Crackle is the first big name to go in with a sort of branded setup along the lines of what you see. So you see there's little rows. You see Space Channel on Crackle, movie franchises on Crackle. And what they're doing is Plex is putting Crackle's stuff in its own little rows so that you can know you know what's new from its partners versus what is new from the plex movies plex is still going to have their own selection of movies and tv shows like they did before but crackle hopefully for all of us is one of many new ones on the way boy night of the lepus if you if you want to see uh dr mccoy from star trek and some real 70s camp horror Check out Night of the Lepus. Just saying. Used to be one of those late night things you'd see on like USA Network in the old days. On Up All Night. So, now let's take a look at this. Channels. This is the sort of exciting headline of this. Is that Plex is bringing back channels. Channels used to be supported by you know, community members. People putting things together. But now it's going to be the place where you find the, the top line things like crackle and whatever comes in in the future when you click on it you'll see that it looks pretty familiar it looks more or less like what you see in plex already except this is where all of the crackle stuff is going to be you might even notice that there are rows there that reflected what you were seeing in the regular plex app from here you can go in and you can look at any of the given titles of course Let's see what we want to click on here. Multiple rows. What to do, what to do. Let's jump on... Well, what's this? Jack Hunter. Okay, this is a franchise. Has anybody ever heard of the Jack Hunter franchise? I'm going to call him not Indiana Jones. What do you say? Doesn't he kind of look like a mix between Indiana Jones and like Tom Hanks and the Angels and Demons movies or something like that? But this is a movie you can watch through Crackle and it looks like it's starring Mr. Ivan Serge. As you jump in, you'll see just like other things in Plex, it'll show you what else this fella is in that you can watch on Plex. And it, according to this, the entire saga of Jack Hunter is available along with Vamps. And the cool thing is that the stuff in Crackle works just like everything else in the Plex library as far as its on-demand movies. When you click on things, it gives you an idea of other things you can watch. It gives you a list of all the castmates and what you can see them in. And similar movies for that are free to watch in this lineup. Now, important to note, you can tell what comes from Crackle and what doesn't. Up in the right-hand corner, things that are part of the Plex movie library are just up there. In a Crackle movie it will show you crackle in the corner. So that's how you know, you know, what's new and exciting and what was already included with Plex. You might be wondering and it would be a logical question to ask, does this does this recommend movies that are from say your own Plex library, things on your own server? I did talk to somebody from Plex and they told me that no that is not the case. It only recommends things from across Crackle and Plex at the moment. I'm sure it will recommend things from other sources when other sources become available. We don't have any information about what is on the way, unfortunately, but this is a space worth watching because 
there should be a lot more to say. Till then, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Please subscribe and share this video with your friends. And as always, stream on, my friends.